Hi, welcome to the Cashman Wellness Show. Today's 30 minutes will be about preventing, stopping, reversing diabetes. This is an extremely common chronic disease causing 50 different illnesses or more, but they can be prevented, they can be stopped and reversed a good 90% of the time. And uh, we today have even an international audience. The nation of India has contacted me. They want to use these shows, we, which we convert to YouTube in a week or two, uh, and they uh, will watch them in their language. So I welcome the international audience. And what it, what it really is, is that uh, diabetes is so common uh, that they have a huge number in China, India, and the United States. In the United States, we have the largest percentage of the people that are diabetic. A lot of the people don't know that they are uh, because they have not had the right test. They diagnose them with blood sugar and a blood glucose tolerance tests, when they also should be checking the serum insulins that pushes the sugar in the cell, uh, and they should be checking them, you won't believe this, starting at age three, as recommended uh, by Joseph R. Kraft, and I happen to totally agree that he is correct. Uh, having studied this for many years, he published this in 2006. I even took this book to pediatricians in one in town here, and, uh, a very well-known individual, uh, and I gave him this book to read and see what he thought about it. I went back to see him, uh, and he said, oh, I lost it. So I went back two weeks later. I gave him another book. I happened to have another <laughs> with me. <laughs> I give him another book. Two weeks later, I went back and says, oh, I haven't had time to read it. Oh, you're the insulin man. Well, the point is, we could be diagnosing this illness many years before. If children were to get serum insulin tests starting at age three and put it in a book on a computer and keep track every year, uh, we would then get at the root cause of the problem. Uh, and see that when it's starting and corrected immediately, we would save so much suffering, our hospitals probably would uh, be empty. Half of them would be empty, mm -hmm. maybe more than that, because uh, uh, what, what does diabetes cause? Retinal disease, blindness, brain hemorrhages, strokes, cataracts, dental disease, those bacteria that live um, in your gums, they, they love to eat sugar. So when the people on the path to diabetes, they have diabetes, they are eating this up to stay alive. And then from there, they attack the brain and the heart and destroy the teeth. Dental disease uh, would be reduced tremendously if we didn't have those bacteria living in your guns. And then diabetes causes heart disease, uh, liver transplants, renal transplants, amputations, dislocations, many types of cancer, many kinds of skin disease. I could go on and on, and they could be pre present, prevented the majority of the time. They autopsied soldiers in the Vietnam, Korean uh, soldiers and U.S. soldiers, and they found the Vietnamese and the Korean uh, soldiers who, who had died, the autopsy showed essentially no disease in their body. They autopsied American soldiers who had qualified to be in the service, no obvious disease, but they looked at their vasculature and found it full of uh, arterial disease. Mm -hmm all over their body, including the retina and the ears and everywhere. And they were then on the path to eventually grab their chest and die of heart disease as they get a day older. I mean, what's the point? 
we want to diagnose the illnesses at their origin. Let's look at this uh, Joseph Kraft book once more, what he says on the cover. Remember what I've been saying, okay? He says, should everyone be tested? Remember, that's what I said. Absolutely not. Only those concerned about their future. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned about your future. This would reduce the number of complications from diabetes because they don't have the disease. Uh, the majority of the time, you can still see Dr. Kraft on YouTube. It's an old show. He's around 92 or 96, somewhere in there. And he said, while he's being interviewed by Dr. Cummings, a huge obesity specialist, he, and he said, I'll be looking down upon you for many years before you wake up and do something about it. Why is he saying that? i tell you why he's saying that, because I'm going to now refer to another book, which I wrote, Prevention is a Cure. Remember, I'm trying to prevent the gas serum insulins, uh, and we can uh, 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 cure the majority of the time at a young age. Uh, and on the cover, I have this sad face. Why do I have this sad face on there? It's, it's crying, because the patients across our country and maybe across the world are surrounded by industries that want to make money. They want to keep you sick. Public health is not, for example, changing the school lunch program, not only in the state, but in the nation. I looked at the lunch school program of Chicago, Los Angeles, uh, Fort Wayne area. I uh, even find some racial prejudice that's going on there because there's a big difference between the white and black community is what, what the federal programs are, are giving them. New York uh, has the best website, and Eric Adams, uh, the uh, mayor, uh, developed diabetes and became essentially blind, which was quickly uh, changed by vegetarian diet, and he wrote a book about it, and I read it, and the book is great, and it's a good thing to follow, and most people would get over their problem, but he, he says bad things about fats. There are good fats and there are bad fats, so I don't uh, agree totally, uh, uh, obviously, with, with the book, uh, but uh, if you follow a vegetarian way of eating, uh, you, you, you will be better, not as good, uh, if you did fasting and simply keto, for example. But, but let's face it, uh, he's done a lot. And if you look at his website, you'll see on Fridays only vegetables, on Mondays only vegetables. So he's making the whole city vegetarians. That's better than not doing anything, much better. And uh, so we go, go along with that. But I think we could even do it better uh, than that. So what else is affecting uh, uh, this sad, crying face. Failure of public health, sugar industry. Uh, sugar is the booger and the hooker in all this. The House and Senate lobbyists, they're making so much money from the corn industry, from the uh, wheat industry, other industries. They're uh, paying these guys off. Cancer specialists, they're paying them off too. Poor nutrition, teaching at the school level, at the school level. Uh, and, and, and by the doctors, by the hospitals, processed food where they remove the coverings and the germ of, of what we're eating, and they put dyes and, uh, on it and things that smell good and eat good, high sugar, high bad fats, so that you want to eat more, you want to eat more. And uh, uh, cow's milk, if you read that book, Whitewashed by Joe Keon, you wouldn't drink cow's milk again because it's full of hormones, pesticides, herbicides. Uh, when a cow is born, they inject it with a growth hormone so the cow gets 10 times bigger and they produce more milk, which is uh, chemicals in them which are not good for you by a long shot. Uh, the hospital system, they don't teach prevention. I know if someone went to a local hospital recently, had a heart attack, uh, and they're all on statin drugs, every one of them, and I 
uh, read a book called Toxic Effect of Statins by Evans this thick, uh, and we're giving them to everybody. I mean, you, I didn't say to stop them. I didn't say to start them, but read it. Dark Side of Statins by Graveline, uh, Mythology of Statins. I have many other books. I didn't say to start, start them or stop them, but, but uh, the industry is making 35 billion a year prescribing this for you. Uh, and, and that person I know, some people I know that went to the hospital systems here, uh, they have a diabetic department, but their diabetic department is not teaching the people how to get rid of the disease. They're teaching them how to maintain it. Mm -hmm. uh, hospital system, med the medical school moves onto the hospital campuses now. Uh, so lack of nutrition teaching to their doctors. I've been to the school, I even know the head of the school and gave them books to read on how to pre prevent, stop, reverse diabetes. I said, here are the books, how about me giving a lecture to the students? And the, the phone never did ring. Okay, that's all right. At least call me up and say, uh, uh, we don't agree with you. Then show me why you don't agree with me. Uh, but not to call at all and talk to me or say, I want to be on your TV show. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the reason, but what I'm saying is, these diseases can be uh, uh, prevented. And it's a matter of eating, uh, the, not giving us some insulin testing, eating the wrong food. I recommend uh, eating about 65% good fats, 20% protein, 15% uh, vegetables and fruit. Uh, and, and fasting, uh, you can find another lecture on fasting I just did on, on YouTube, it'll be, be, be on there. Uh, to give yourself a period of time to undergo autophagia where your body's being repaired is a quick way to uh, get rid of uh, diabetes. So learn about fasting. That makes it a lot uh, quicker. Uh, and uh, if, if suppose you're uh, way overweight and you think it's a hopeless thing, uh, and, and I tell you it is not hopeless to, to get rid of diabetes, here's a book, Beyond Simply Keto, by Susan Ryan here. I highly recommend you can get it at the library or you can uh, get it on uh, um, uh, Amazon. Uh, and what's beautiful about her book is she has copies, pictures of all the recipes and desserts and lunches. And she recommends uh, even uh, three meals a day, but the first 30 pages, she uh, discusses keto metabolism. So you get to know that a little bit uh, better. Ketones are small molecules uh, of fat, high energy, and make you uh, feel good, and you get away from sugar metabolism, uh, and you'll be a lot healthier. So I, I want you to learn things uh, about it. So simply keto, uh, but she's even three meals a day. I recommend, frankly, two meals a day. That's what I follow. I'm not hungry in the morning, and but you need to know more about fasting and the effects it does on you. You can read about it, Google it, or look at my YouTube show. You will definitely understand it. I think uh, we didn't start eating three meals a day until 200 years ago, and that's when all most of these diseases occurred in high numbers. So I think pay some att uh, attention uh, uh, to that. Uh, another book I recommend is, is uh, a Total Rethink of Type 2 Diabetes by Tom Jelinek. Uh, simple to read, any layman can read it. Uh, and, it, it and it speaks about everything I've spoken about uh, in, in a great detail. Also some recipes uh, in there. And, and what's the name of his book? Goodbye Pills and Needles. Save you thousands of, uh, of dollars, make you a lot healthier. Uh, uh, and uh, you will fully understand this disease has been promoted by industry to make you and keep you sick so they can make a lot of money. I, I say it. Anyone disagree? S sit with me uh, doing one of these shows. I gladly have any of you, uh, especially head of a huge company like Eli Lilly or some of these companies that sell uh, yeah, insulin uh, drugs, for example, the other companies that sell it, uh, have them, I gladly have them sit right next to me and discuss how important 
the drug is, it is for the type 1 diabetic who, who has no insulin at all. They need a certain amount, uh, but, the, but what most of them are taking is uh, up to 100 units. Even now they have insulin pumps where you just eat and check your blood sugar uh, 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 and uh, then pump more insulin into your body. But insulin has many effects on your body, which could be avoided by not taking it in the first place. If you uh, follow what I say, uh, the fasting two meals a day or even three meals a day like Susan Ryan. The reason I, I, uh, Susan, you see a picture of her on the cover, she looks beautiful. She's lost 150 pounds. So we're not critical of anyone being overweight, but don't accept having their disease. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Uh, and uh, uh, as I said, prevention uh, is the cure in the first place, but if you have it, you can get rid of it and describes very well in, in my book on, on how to do it. And the quickest way is fasting 16-8. And that, that, that's the fastest way. Uh, but you follow Simply Keto by Susan uh, Ryan uh, with beautiful recipes. The food tastes good. I'm not, talk, I'm not restricting food here. I, I may speak a little bit about changing the timing, but if you follow Susan Ryan, it's three meals a day of, of eating good food that will make you healthy in the long run in the best metabolism, simply ketone. I have another uh, book, and I'll stop recommending them here after a while. And then uh, Why We Get Sick by Benjamin Bickman. He also has some YouTube shows and, and I would uh, pull those up and listen to those. Uh, but what he's really saying uh, uh, is that the diabetes is a root cause of most chronic disease. Isn't that what I told you a little while ago? And, and I don't say something unless it isn't in, uh, said by a lot of other scientists and, and in books that you can, you can read it. And what he's... And then he has a foreword by Jason Fung, F-U-N-G. And uh, he's written a book called uh, Obesity Code, Diabetes Code, Cancer Code. He is from Canada, uh, very knowledgeable. He has a lot of YouTube shows. Uh, I, I would watch those. I want you to gather a lot of information, not just listen to me, because diabetes has so much associated with it. Uh, it can be avoided. Most renal disease that I'm looking at today, all these dialysis centers you see surrounding the town, uh, when they order, it, when you get your urine and blood test, get a GFR, glomerular filtration rate. Uh, that is around 100 when you're a kid, 110 maybe, yeah, but slowly get declines with age, like mine is 80. Okay, and I'm 86, <laughs> okay, but all my blood work is normal, okay, and I'll even, some of my shows, I've held it up uh, to, to show you, to prove it uh, to you. I have it done once a year, um, and uh, to get a GFR test, uh, I, I talk to most people, they don't know what their GFR test is. 99. I never found a person yet that knew it. The first three stages of kidney disease, there's five stages, okay, for, have no symptoms. So they can't make any money. Nobody comes in because they have no, no, no symptoms. But if, you die, but if you see that it's declining, uh, the numbers are approaching 60 or below or so, you've got to start getting worried. And if you get rid of your diabetes, your kidney disease will not go to stage four and five, and you will not need dialysis or renal transplant. And below, believe me, both of those conditions associate the expensive, time-consuming. You may need to go to a dialysis center or the end of your house and need to be dialyzed three days a week at home, I think 10 hours. I know somebody's having it done now in 10 hours. Three days a week, he's going to lay in his bed. This, yeah, mm -hmm. all can be avoided. So GFR testing is important. Another way to tell things are getting worse in your body is, is to get HS high sensitivity 
CRP test that tells you if there's inflammation going on in the body, whether uh, you have inflammatory disease in your cells. It tells you if cancer is coming, if heart disease, renal disease, arthritis, all these things uh, will uh, uh, tell you that. So HSCRP, uh, get liver screening test, get kidney screening test. Another good kidney test is creatine albumin ratio, but GFR I think is a little more reliable. There can be some disagreement about GFR. If your GFR is 30, I get worried. You may need to be dialyzed. Uh, and, so, and kidney disease is hard to reverse. Uh, th this is the really important thing. That's the reason I think if you get a GFR, get it at least once a year, put it in a, a book or a computer so that you know uh, uh, w where it, it is heading. Uh, and, and let me review again what do I feel what should what should I eat? Okay, learn about what good fats are, guacamole. Okay, olives, uh, for example. Uh, and 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 Susan Ryan's book has in it recipes, the amount of carbs, the amount of protein, the amount of fat. Every recipe she has in there, even if you're not way overweight like she was, it'd be real good because the recipes are delicious tells you exactly uh, what they're at. If your whole family wants to be healthy, cook what she recommends there. Uh, and, and you might say, well, I accept diabetes, like I had uh, someone in town tell me recently, a well-known person actually, uh, says, I'll take my medications and things. The trouble is you may live 10 years longer, but if you want to live to be 100, that is not going to work. Uh, you need to get rid of the disease. Don't accept diabetes. And I'm telling you, 90% of the time, it, it can be prevented uh, and, and reversed. You don't want dementia, memory loss. Most memory loss is due to diabetes, Alzheimer's disease. Uh, Peter Whitehouse at the Cleveland Clinic wrote a book years ago called The Myth of Alzheimer's Disease. I read the book. I actually agreed with him that it's an end-stage product. If you're not eating right at these different stages, maybe you first you have some cognitive impairment and you run a serum and say, well, I got diabetes, you do something about it, and that may stop or reverse itself. Memory loss is largely a diabetic disease. Alzheimer's disease is not something genetically except in very rare cases. There are a few case, cases where it is genetic, but maybe no more than three or four percent. And the ones who have the gene, uh, who have that gene that causes it, that gene will not express itself 50 percent of the time if you're eating the right foods. If you're eating a high sugar, high sugar uh, uh, way of eating, you're more likely to get it, but you can avoid it. So most of uh, Alzheimer's disease, which is a horrible uh, thing, thing you don't want, uh, can be avoided even if you get the genes that have it. Very low incidence of this gene. But if you're a diabetic and you're eating the wrong food, the odds of Alzheimer's disease go way up, 30, 40 percent. You're going to get this problem and, and, and start having memory loss and dementia and you can't drive and eventually your relatives need to take care of you and then put you uh, maybe in a nursing home and, and hope that you die soon. And, uh, uh, but these things can be avoided. Let me tell you about heart disease a little bit. We talked about renal disease as being the five stages can be uh, avoided mo the ma majority of the time. Uh, heart disease, 50 percent. Insulin, when we talked about insulin, Insulin punches a hole in the intima, the inner layer uh, uh, of the va a blood vessel. That's the start of vascular disease. Insulin punches a hole. A and then uh, cholesterol gets piled on top of that and gets inside. So cholesterol is not the cause of that condition. 
So uh, when they talk about statin drugs, you need to take them to reduce your cholesterol, but your cholesterol, your, every cell in your body has some cholesterol in it. Your memory is dependent on cholesterol. So to take these drugs, uh, when you read Evans's book on, on, on statin drugs, you, you realize uh, the amount of uh, disease that would occur if your cholesterol level goes down is infathomable. Okay, I would never take such a drug, uh, but I'm not telling you to stop it or reverse it. Okay, that, that's up to you, but you can gather information by reading the books or when you're on the drug, hand the books to your doctor and, and see what he says. Um, it can help in some mild cases where inflammation is, is a problem, but you have other ways to reduce inflammation, and that's to fast and follow uh, way of eating, which, which I uh, uh, recommend. 50% of the people who get heart disease just grab their chest and they die. Can't resuscitate them, don't, can't operate them, half. So do you think prevention of heart disease shouldn't play a big part? I'd say it need to play a huge part, okay? 40% would be fine if you did no procedure. 10% of the patients with vast disease are helped by stents, open heart surgery, and things of that nature. I had a friend recently who, uh, younger than me, who suddenly died, uh, grabbed his chest, and fell dead on the, on the floor. Mm -hmm. So it must have been the circulatory system. Uh, and he had been gaining weight before this happened and generally was a healthy individual, as far as I know. Uh, and, uh, but you wonder whether he wasn't taking uh, some medication that interfered with the circulatory system of the heart. That's only about 3 4% of heart disease. The majority is due to abnormal blood vessels. So to prevent vascular disease, to prevent uh, diabetes, which is the biggest cause of hearing loss, vascular disease, impotency, uh, heart attacks, strokes, amputations, dislocations, the majority of that can be prevented. So have I declared war on diabetes? Yeah, I've declared war on diabetes because the industry hasn't. The industry has surrounded the patient, gave him a sad face, uh, and we need the smiley face of teaching the patient how to eat right, to do fasting, to learn about ketones, uh, but what's beautiful about this story, we're not speaking about anything hopeless. We're speaking about something that can be fixed, but you gotta gain the knowledge. The industry is not gonna teach you the knowledge. They've got you surrounded, because they're making a lot of money. Uh, you yourself must gather the information uh, and, and, and be in charge of your health and start doing the right thing to reading some of these books and maybe finding, lucky enough to find a doctor who would help you. But i be honest with you, if you look enough of uh, the YouTube shows that, that I got, 700 of them, review a few of them on, on diabetes and other diseases, renal disease, heart disease, uh, and look at my book, Prevention is, is the Cure, and gather the information. You'll have enough information to maybe get the job done yourself. <laughs> I appreciate you watching. Look at my other YouTube shows. Uh, the rest of the world is, India, you're gonna translate it into their languages, into their dialects. So, and they've even sent some of their leaders to my house. Mm -hmm. So uh, the world is changing, but if you get these problems, you change. We care about you, we love you. That's why we do this. Namaste. See you in the next show.